we're here at this 2008 uh, Audioholics State of the CE Union event. In Orlando. In Orlando, Florida. And I'm here with Craig Eggers. Senior manager. Senior manager of Dolby Labs. Okay. It's good to be here. Yeah, we, um, we have, wow, we've got a lot of demo rooms here. Uh, this year that we've been listening to and just a lot of good away. demo rooms a lot of good demo rooms and and yet and yet this room which you are in yes uh, won best video and best audio best and best sound. audio yeah yeah we're so. really uh, we're really gratified thank you very much Absolutely. we appreciate uh, the support you know from from your team we, we really appreciate the support from everybody's been gathered here Oh man, well we're happy. It's, it's been, uh, it's just, a, I've been getting amazing feedback from this room. Can you tell me a little bit about the technologies uh, that we're listening to and some of the things that we're... Uh... Well, the audio codex that we have chosen to demonstrate here in the room is Dolby True HD. Um, we have a clip from Iron Man that we've been showing. We've also got a clip from uh, Benny Reitfeld, who's Santana's bass player. And the Benny clip is actually uh, encoded in 2496 7.1 Dolby True HD. Dolby 2 HD is a 100% lossless audio codec. So what our visitors that have been listening to the Benny disc as well as Iron Man are literally hearing in those seats is exactly what was heard, what was captured either in the recording studio or in the mixing studio when they made mm -hmm. Iron Man. Um, the efficiencies of Dolby True HD enable us to have an experience, an audio experience, that's equivalent to being in the studio, being in the concert hall, being in a mixing stage but also the efficiencies of Dolby True HD enable us to do that without compromising video pic uh, picture quality, without compromising the extras that uh, a content provider might want to put on a disc to bring extra value to a disc. Uh, to try to deliver 7.1 channels of 2496 uncompressed PCM, put that on disc, would be a massive undertaking in terms right. of uh, w uh, bandwidth. Uh, and Dolby True HD solves that problem for the content providers while giving us enthusiasts the very highest quality sound possible. It does, and it's created a, an incredible demand. I mean, there's entire websites dedicated to, to, to talking right? about which discs have True yeah. HD versus which ones are running. Yes, and it's, I've it's, seen those. Yeah, yeah, and it's nice to see everybody's kind of picking up and they're finally getting on. Everything's mm -hmm. being mastered in this new audio format. And, you know, I mean, the fact is, is uh, uh, you guys, uh, are very influential. You have a voice, and when you talk about uh, uh, demanding the highest quality audio and video experiences, you know the studios listen and uh, keep doing what you're doing. Oh, you got it. Well, there's such a difference. It really does matter. Now, yeah. what else? Uh, what else are we looking at? Uh, we've been talking about other technologies. Well, you know, at, at the CDS show, we announced uh, our first um, AV receivers coming to the marketplace with Dolby Volume. Uh, Dolby Volume is a unique solution that enables two things to happen. Number one enables us to get a consistent level of listening experiences across all of our sources that are now connected into the AV receiver or the television set. Um, you know, you, so oftentimes, you know, whether you're using a five disc CD changer or just switching between content and programming that's broadcast, you have these wide variances in gain levels. And so oftentimes you're reaching for the remote control and it goes up and then it goes down and then it goes up and then it goes down. Don't be volume. You determine a volume level that you're comfortable with listening to and Dolby Volume does all the rest. You set the volume level that you want and all of your programming coming into that uh, uh, device uh, comes out consistent and level. And that's very, very cool. The other thing about Dolby Volume is something we call a modeler aspect. As humans, we're genetically programmed to hear mid-range. And what happens is when you begin to turn down the volume in a home theater, we lose our surround ambience. That's right. We lose the crickets chirping. We lose all that. And that's because, quite frankly, we have this area within the frequency curve uh, uh, between 1K and 6K. We're, we're very, very, very sensitive, but we lose bass frequency at lower volumes. We lose high frequencies at lower volumes. Dolby Volume is a new intelligent cognitive type of solution that understands how we hear. So it takes into account uh, how perceptually we hear different frequency bands and is able to process those so that when we're not listening at 85 dB, and mm -hmm. most home theaters are, right, right. when you start to bring that down, you still get the reference, the perceived reference level mix even at lower volumes. So it understands dynamic range, it understands yes. that listening at reference levels, mm -hmm. the, the, the rain in the background is gonna be subtle, and all of a sudden when you turn that volume down, instead of that, or in this case, set your, set your different volume, instead of it disappearing, it knows, hey, right. we need to still hear that 
that material. And it's very, very intelligent. I mean, some of your previous uh, solutions out there, you know, uh, if I was talking to you and there was rain in the background and we stopped talking, all of a sudden the gain for the rain would start coming up and down. You'd have this, what we call pumping and breathing. That's right. Those are artifacts you don't want in a home theater. Um, and Dolby Volume is, is highly cognitive, it's highly intelligent, and it understands, you know, for example, if I hit a piano chord and it's decaying, and somebody hits a, a rim shot on a snare drum immediately after that, Dolby Volume can adjust that rim shot while allowing that piano chord to decay naturally without the unnatural pumping and breathing yeah, you might get. That's great. The other thing is that it, is it approaches this whole thing from a very wide band perspective. Uh, Dolby Volume uh, works on 40 frequency bands in each channel. Oh wow! So we, uh, uh, whereas, whereas other solutions might use wideband, we use multiband and multi-channel solutions for Dolby Volume. This is this is not your father's loudness control. No, this, it's this is not. The it is. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely incredible. And when you think about it, I was talking to our developers of Dolby Volume last week, and I said, "Why are we able to do this?" Right. And they said you know what, on the shoulders of giants. When you think of Dolby A, Dolby B, Dolby C, what Ray Dolby did in the original noise reduction was about perceptual audio, how we perceive sound. And we built on top of that with Dolby Digital, which is about perceptual audio, Dolby Virtual Speaker, now we got Dolby Volume. And what's awesome is what used to take racks of equipment to accomplish oh, with yeah. decoding and encoding on both ends, and now is this reduced down to chip sets and it's in our AV receivers and it's coming. we got AV receivers coming um, and uh, we're looking forward to them being in the marketplace. I know that there's been a lot of demand, a lot of interest in Dolby Volume and look for those things in the marketplace very, very soon. Thanks, Craig. Thanks so much. Thanks for Thank coming you. and thanks for the excellent Appreciate demos it. and we look forward to seeing Glad more to be at, part uh, of it. at CES. Thanks.